Hey guys, time for another Dimension X digital toy review. And I got some cool stuff here today. Like, uh, I took my kids to the park and ran around in some 90 degree heat, felt like I was gonna pass out. <laughs> so, uh, we're back home now. Well, I'm back home there at uh, Grandma and Grandpa's house. I got the house to myself and I ran into the store and I happened upon a few things. Um, the first one uh, that you're seeing here, this is a uh, uh, new um, uh, It Chapter 2 action figures from uh, Fat Mojo, which. I don't know where these came from. <laughs> um, Fat Mojo is a is a weird little toy company. They uh, they're the ones that did the new uh, Ducktales figures, um, that Bendy and the Ink Machine, and then there's like another weird little series that I keep seeing figures of, and I have no clue what they're from. But anyways, that's them. So these are not NECA. They're not Funko. Uh, they are from Fat Mojo. I have never bought one of their figures before, um, but I figured why not. Uh, interesting part was um, they were on the shelves. I, this was at uh, Target. Uh, they were on the shelves. I picked up these two and uh, took them up to the, the price scanner to see how much they were. And, of course, it said item not found. And that usually means you're, uh, you're shit out of luck. It usually means Target won't sell it to you. Uh, however, someone in the electronics department either didn't know or didn't care. Uh, she rang them up. Sure enough, no price, so she looked them up and said, well, it says they're $6 online somewhere, so how about I just price match that? Good with me. <laughs> so, yeah, I got these for 6 bucks a piece. Um, it was like 13 something after tax. Uh, so what have I got to lose? You know, so I figure, why not? Let's take a look at these. They looked interesting. So I picked up two. Um, this one, uh, this is, I'm actually going to open this one. This one, I have a friend that might be interested in it. So I, I'm not going to open this one, but we'll look at it best we can. Um, so uh, this one is the Deadlights Pennywise. And um, of course, I had to pick this one up. This is um, the same kind of um, uh, idea as the Ultimate Dancing Pennywise that NECA did which had the interchangeable heads and had the light-up deadlight head. And that figure is still probably my figure of the year so far. That That is just such an, such an incredible figure. So this is a little cheaper version, but I figured let's look at it and, you know, just let's see what it has to offer. Uh, the other one is, uh, this is the bloody variant Pennywise. And uh, let's get it in focus. There you go. So as you can see, these are not nearly as uh, detailed as, you know, uh, uh, you know, the NECA figures, but... Hey, I paid six bucks. I, I, I imagine they're probably gonna be more around the nine to ten dollar, you know, like the ten ten dollar range when they actually put the price in the system. Um, but one thing that's kind of cool about these, you can see, it says includes one piece of the well house. Um, so the, you know, see that little piece behind them. If you look at the whole series, uh, there is the, uh, the I Heart Dairy Pennywise, which comes with a balloon. The Deadlights Pennywise, which we have over there the normal Pennywise and the Bloody Pennywise var uh, variant. This was the only Bloody Pennywise that I saw in the entire uh, rack, and there was a good number of these on the rack. There was at least 12, 12 to 16, something like that, so you're probably getting like eight per case. I only saw one Bloody uh, Pennywise and only two of the Deadlights. So um, I saw plenty of the normal ones. I don't know if I saw the I Heart Dairy. I didn't really look for that one. Uh, but as you can see, they each come with a little piece, and you can assemble a diorama set. So that's kind of a cool idea. Um, of course, I haven't seen part two yet, so I don't know if the Wellhouse comes, well, I'm sure it comes back into uh, uh, into play, considering that's how they got in there. But they also exited out in the Barrens, so eh, who knows. Uh, but yeah, so uh, bloody uh, the Bloody variant is looks exactly like the normal Pennywise, except he has some uh, light blood splatter on him. Uh, the picture of him on the back... The blood splatter is definitely a little more uh, a little more aggressive. Um, it's a little more light and misty on the actual figure, but you know, bloody variants are always cool. Um, so yeah, I grabbed this one for a friend, and uh, uh, we'll see if uh, they want it. If not, then you know, either back to the store or I'll open it, or you know, maybe I'll give it to my kids. <laughs> what better toy for uh, for for young children? So uh, on top of those, uh, I stumbled in the GameStop uh, just seeing what they had. They had. Um, a uh, couple packs of the uh, Batman and Leonardo uh, of the new TMNT Batman wave, and they also had a Raphael and Bat or uh, 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 Raphael and Robin. Uh, they had two of the Batman and three of the Raphaels. Um, one of the one of the Batmans had a really bad paint job. Uh, no, no, the Batman had no. His face had a terrible paint job. The body was good. Leonardo had a terrible paint job on his face. The other one, Leonardo looked perfect, and Batman looked a lot better. But he had a really bad um, 
mold defect on his stomach area like it was really uh scratchy looking and like it looked like it got stuck to the mold or something so keep it if you're if you're getting those keep an eye out for the quality i didn't get them because i if i get one i've got to get them all and it's just no like the the style of them is so unique that you can't just have like one the only one that i have and i did a review on it already is uh was this one the michelangelo with the uh, batman cow now this figure i gave a great review it is a really really great figure and again this cape is just out of this world it's massive and it's great quality it is absolutely huge it lays wonderfully um uh, i'm assuming that the batman figure uh comes with the same cape uh someone left me a comment on the the video re review for this the other day saying that the batman cape was the best they'd ever seen and i'm assuming it's going to be the same cape as this because this really is one of the best capes that i've ever seen in a um you know a, a retail batman release um again though if you if you did, if you miss out on this figure try to track him down he is really really great so i'm happy with just having this i don't need the whole set I put him back at his home. The only way they're going to get me to spend money on that line is if they release that party wagon. Um, and there is a lot of uh, speculation as far as them releasing those figures because um, not only does uh, that Michelangelo come with the uh, pizza shape or the pizza painted manhole cover that they shoot out of it, but the Raphael figure comes with um, his motorcycle helmet, an alternate head with his motorcycle helmet. And uh, I think Donatello comes with something similar. So we might see some vehicles. We might see a Batmobile. We might see a, um, a, a party wagon. We might see Raphael's uh, motorcycle. So if they want me to spend any money on that line, it will be the party wagon. Uh, so, uh, but while I was there, I saw this. Now, normally I don't buy these wacky blind boxes. Um, I just, they're not... They're not really my thing. I mean, sometimes they can be fun. I had a loot great subscription back in the day that, you know, it was cool until I started getting repeated items and was getting a lot of junk that I just didn't, I just didn't care about. Uh, so I saw this one and of course, uh, I'm, you know, just huge, huge Power Rangers fan. Um, it comes with some goofy stuff. Uh, I just, it was an impulse buy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, however, the mystery item is clearly a Green Ranger figure. And I'm I'm really uh, cautiously optimistic that this is the um, the figure arts uh, statue Green Ranger that I passed on multiple times. At, it was $60. The cheapest I ever saw it for, I think, it was $40. They had it at Barnes & Noble one time for 40 bucks. I almost got one, and I didn't. And then the last few times I've been there, it's been gone. So I got this. I said, you know what? Some of this stuff I can keep. Some of it I can give away. Maybe I'll do a little giveaway or something. Uh, some of them I can give to my kids. And uh, if that's uh, the statue it is, then I, I'll keep that for myself. And it will definitely be worth the 40 bucks. Uh, they even... Um the girl there was really helpful. She helped me last time when I did some pre-orders for uh, some NECA stuff. And um, they did their wacky 25% off box or bag deal. And uh, it actually knocked this down. Even after tax, I walked out of there paying like $37. So whatever. <laughs> Total impulse buy. But, um, you know, why not? I mean, it comes with a, a membership card. So you can be an official Power Ranger. Here, let me get a little closer so you can see it. Uh, a coaster set, which I've seen at the uh, store individually, and uh, they're actually pretty hefty. I think they're ceramic, but we'll see if they're the same ones. A pint glass, a lunch bag, notebook and pen set, uh, an art print, snap bracelets if you really want to get uh, some 90s nostalgia going, a Alpha 5 bottle opener, which seems vaguely inappropriate, and, uh, and a Mr. Adam, which is clearly a Green Ranger statue, so I'm really hoping it is uh, the one I think it is. Uh, there was a sci-fi box that had the Xenomorph walking the facehugger figure. Um, the box, the whole box itself was 20 bucks, and that figure goes for 20 to 40 bucks on its own. So sometimes you can get a little come up on these boxes. Um, so let's, uh, we'll save this for, for the end. Let me get out of the way, and uh, let's open up this Pennywise and see, uh, see what we're working with on these. So again, I've never bought a fat, what is it, fat mojo figure. I've never, I don't have any of the DuckTales stuff. I know some people were picking, this, uh, swooping up on those things when they uh, hit clearance recently. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I loved DuckTales when I was a kid. Uh, and I really love the games on the Nintendo and the Game Boy. The Game Boy version of DuckTales is just as good as the console version. It's just not in color. But that was definitely one of my favorite road trip games. Um, so, uh, but no, I passed up on those. I have no idea what Bendy and the Ink Machine is. I have no idea what that other one is, but, uh, you give me a, um, Deadlights Pennywise and I'll definitely pick this guy up. So, uh, packaging is pretty cool. You got this, uh, really kind of 
creepy looking Pennywise up here. You have the logo, and then you have the figure right here in the center. And of course, you get that Wellhouse scene to, uh, uh, or the Wellhouse piece. So, um, you know, nice little bang for your buck on these things, I guess. Um, again, you know, we have uh, five or four figures in the whole line plus the diorama. So, it's pretty pretty ambitious little line. So uh, let's just let's rip them open. See what we got. All right, so here's that wellhouse piece, which is it's just it's just a nice piece of cardstock which has a little bit of damage on it, as you can see. God, why is my camera so nutty today with the focus? It's gonna be one of those videos. Um, yeah, so a little bit of damage right out of the box, uh, probably due to some sort of uh, some some probably the way they're packing the figures or something. Uh, the base piece is actually plastic. Looks to have maybe I guess that's grass. <laughs> Looks like straw. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's dead grass. Uh, it's actually plastic and it does have a peg for the for the figure. So that's kind of nice. So let's get that over there. And I guarantee you that'll probably be the only piece of this diorama I ever get. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> All right, let's get him out. Ooh, he's actually rubbery. I, he's not. Um, he doesn't feel like. Uh, well, the mid the mid section is a little more plastic, but. You can see, God, see, I'm telling you that my camera is going to be be fussy today with the focus. Um, yeah, he, uh, let's see, he's got articulation in his upper thigh, nothing on his ankles or knees. He does have elbow and uh, shoulder articulation. He does rotate on his midsection, and the head does turn. So, not bad. Um paint wise i mean it's pretty basic there's not too much paint although there is some decent uh detailing there on his boots if you look at that um paint's actually pretty nicely applied on some of the smaller uh details nothing really bleeding off too much there's a little bit of bleeding on the teeth here um however um i did notice this when i was kind of taking a good look at it all the teeth and the inside of the mouth and let's see if i can get my lights on again because they kind of helped last time there we go you can actually see all the teeth on the inside of the mouth are really nicely molded. There is a there is a lot of teeth inside there, so that's pretty that's pretty cool, you know. I mean, like for such a small figure, they really did. Uh, they really kind of went for it. I mean, mo I imagine a lot of companies would maybe put a row or two and just kind of try to fudge it with a kind of a paint job. But no, there's there is like there is a lot of teeth inside that mouth, so <laughs> not bad. Um, God, I just love the look of this. It is so creepy. Like, his transformation into this. Like, I mean, not to go off on a tangent here. This is probably going to be like a 30-minute video again. But um, growing up watching the original 1990s uh, It miniseries. Well, the two-part miniseries. Movie, whatever you want to call it. First time I ever saw it was at my cousin's. Um, let's see. He is about a year and a half older than me. I believe it was his eighth birthday party so i was about seven which would put me in the second grade <laughs> and he had a sleepover with a bunch of his friends and we rented that movie and we watched it over and over and over again and from that night on i had nightmares for years almost nightly nightmares of the tim curry pennywise and that movie as i mean as an adult no it is not scary um, it is definitely a TV movie, uh, but you know, Tim Curry's performance is phenomenal. Uh, the design work in that movie is phenomenal. Uh, most of the kid actors are really, really good. There's, I mean, there's a couple, I mean, even uh, the kids, the adults, there's some spotty acting in between, but, um, as far as the TV movie goes, it's, it's really, really well done. And, uh, and, and of course, no small part of that is because of Tim Curry and, um, my God, he is just such a phenomenal, um, uh, Pennywise. And so as much as I, I do like this new movie, it just will never match what that original did for me. I mean, yes, it's nostalgic. Yes, it is. Um, um, maybe even a little unfair, but oh man, I, from the amount of anguish that movie put me through for my nightly sleep from the age of like seven to like 13 or 12 or whatever, I'm telling you nightly, I was dreaming about that damn clown. And, um, uh, but still, to this day, yes, it's a TV movie. Yes, it, there's really not much blood and gore, although there's a decent amount for, for a TV movie. Uh, Pennywise, Tim Curry is still, hands down, my favorite movie monster. 
and which is why like this figure right here oh my god it is phenomenal i don't know if i did a review i don't think i did a review of him but they just god they knocked it out of the park and uh, i've been wanting to pick up the second version of this I, I can't bring myself to do it. There's not enough to the new one. In fact, I don't like any of the head sculpts nearly as much as all the ones that came with this one. Uh, I do like the accessories, but I don't want to spend another like 25, like 30 bucks on a couple of accessories. So I think I'm going to stick with my version one. And uh, I really, really love that figure. But back to this guy. Um, as far as the quality goes, this it kind of lies somewhere in between like... Like... <laughs> Like a basic, like a Playmates action figure with like a Funko like reaction figure. You know what I mean? Like it's not going for super realism, um, but you know, it is a little bit heftier. It is a little bit bigger, but uh, I just thought it was cool. I mean, hell, and like I said, I got this for six bucks and I can uh, put this creepy little thing somewhere, maybe scare my kids with it a little bit. So <laughs> not, not bad. Uh, if you're looking for just a cool little desk toy, um, I, you know, maybe pick one of these guys up. So let's put him back over here somewhere and let's get moving on with that box because we're already at 16 minutes. Bless all you guys who actually sit and watch all my, the entirety of my, of my reviews. So this thing is massive. So I'm probably just going to set the box aside um, while we uh, uh, take stuff out of it. I don't want to uh, knock the camera over, which I have done in the past and all that. So. All right, that should be good enough. Just rip this guy open. I do like this box, it's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably actually use it for some storage. <laughs> um, it's got the logo here. If you look on the sides, uh, you have uh, Tommy and Kimberly here. And uh, who do we have? Zach and Trini on the other side. And uh, should we, yep, Jason and Billy on the front. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it open here and you guys can yeah, we're clearance. All right, cool. So here we go. Um, you know, might as well just move the camera up. So this is the inside of the box. Let's see, uh, pint glass, Green Ranger. I don't even want to look at it. I want to be surprised. Here's the pint glass. Looks like the lunch bag, and uh, let's see, looks like our marker and our uh, notebook, which is pretty cool. Our art prints. Oh, there's two art prints. I wonder if that's a mistake. <laughs> oh, our bottle opener, our snap bracelets, our official Power Junior Power Rangers identification card. <laughs> oh God, I'm 35 years old. What am I doing buying this? And here's the coaster set, and it is not the same coaster set as the one I mentioned earlier. All right, so let's get this giant box out of the way. All right, guys, just be careful. If you ever address me as anything other than a junior Power Ranger, I'm going to be very upset. So let's go through this piece by piece. Let's see. God, these things are huge. All right, so here are our snap bracelets. Uh, they are, let's see. I think there's two of them. Yep, there are. There are two. Uh, looks like we got a gray one with the team and one that says go go over and over again. Uh, so if you weren't around in the 90s, snap bracelets were a really bizarre little fad. Uh, I remember them very, very distinctly uh, from the uh, grades of first through third. Uh, and then after that, they vanished. Uh, so <laughs> uh, you're talking around like 19, I guess that would be like 1990 through uh, like 93. Uh, best chance to find these in your school uh, library along with the um, those neon uh, god what were those pencils called you got yikes were they called yikes pencils or like the outside was like a color and then you sharpen it and then the wood was like a different color and yeah those were very popular so snap bracelet let's see if my uh, big uh, sausage wrist can handle these so you would go up to your friends and slap them and you get to wear this dope bracelet all day and it never never felt comfortable and no one ever really wore them and your teachers hated them so yeah, you got two of these, like I said. Just some good old fashioned 90s nostalgia. So those are fun. Uh, they're, uh, most of the snap bracelets I remember were, uh, they kind of had more of a fabric-y outside, but these are more like a vinyl, uh, which I, I, I can't complain. I uh, definitely like this one a little more, um, you know, 
but yeah, cool little cool things. Maybe my uh, my daughter will probably get a kick out of these. Probably kick them down to her. Moving on, our official Junior Power Rangers of identification card. Yes, I'm going to sign this. Yes, it's going in my wallet. Uh, it is um, it is an actual plastic card. Let me see. Go. Yeah, same. It's like a plastic, like a credit card. They didn't get cheap on you. You know, this is official. This is an official form of identification. You can use this to buy alcohol, firearms, uh, pornography, tobacco, cigarettes, whatever you want. Uh, this is very official. It is a Junior Power Rangers official official identification card. Um, wow, it even has a Saban logo on it. Cool. <laughs> Name, I'm I'm telling you, I'm going to sign this, and uh, this, this sucker's going in my wallet. So... <laughs> There you go, guys. Um, I, I, I expect a little bit of respect from now on, just so you know. Don't make me pull out my uh, my credentials. Uh, let's see. Let's look at those coasters. Coaster set. Um, let's see. Let's open it up here. Oh, they're not bad, actually. I thought they were just going to be kind of cheap-ass paper. But uh, no, they actually... Uh, well, these are stuck together. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's see, uh, they are actual corkboard, which is nice. Uh, they appear to be sealed, so they shouldn't get completely ruined after one use. Uh, let's see, and you got you got everyone. You got Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, uh, Pterodactyl, Mastodon, and Sabertooth Tiger. So that's pretty cool. No no dragon, no white, no white tiger, but hey, um, I'd say five coasters is pretty cool. I remember I got some uh, Nintendo coasters in one of my... Um, my loot crates back in the day, and those were cool. Uh, out of everything I ever got, that was one of my favorites. Um, I have yet to use them because I'm afraid I'm going to ruin them. <laughs> All right, and let's see. We have this uh, notebook here, and I remember what these are called, lenticular. Um, last time I looked at, uh, what was it? Oh, the Ash vs. Evil Dead box. I couldn't remember what the 3D uh, changing uh, kind of things are called. They're, I believe they're called lenticular. So if you look, you have uh, the team here. And then the Zords when you move it down here. So that's pretty cool. Speaking of 90s nostalgia, the pen looks to be a multicolored pen. So let's take a look in the notebook. Yep. You remember that sound. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Just regular old line note paper. It does have the, uh, the, uh, the um, lightning bolt at the bottom. Uh, I was hoping there'd be stickers or something in here. <laughs> really, you know, really go with the adult theme of this box. Uh, but yeah, no, so the, here's, here's the pen it comes with. <laughs> Let's make sure, okay, there we go. And it is in different colors. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is another thing in the, that I remember very fondly from the 90s. Um, if you wanted uh, blue, you get to knock down the blue ink, or red, green, orange, and my favorite color, purple. So pretty cool. Um, does it work? <laughs> Let's see. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm sure there's about a, a, a page and a half's worth of ink in each color. I'm sure it is very high quality and, uh, I will never be disappointed by it. So yeah, definitely another piece of the nineties uh, nostalgia there. There you go. Works perfectly. All right, let's get this thing situated back in its thing. Yeah, whatever, I'll do it later. Let's move on. Next up, we have our lunch bag. It's a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers lunch bag. You have a real photo of the team there. That's kind of cool. Um, Tommy is in his uh, white tiger. He is not a dragon there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, culture fly. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's a nice old... Ooh, it's insulated. Man. No wonder this thing was forty bucks. <laughs> yeah, you get this. Uh, you get this cool little thing. Um, yeah, I'm sure I can find use for this. Or uh, you know, like I said, maybe we'll do some giveaways with some of this stuff. Let me know what looks cool to you guys. If uh, uh, maybe I'll I'll throw something up for a little thing. Um, now on to our art prints, which I did get two. I don't think you're supposed to get two. I think it just said art print. Um, but yeah, so. They're both the same. And uh, let's see. We have the whole team going around. Uh, Tommy is Green Ranger, not the white. And uh, we have uh, Alpha 5 right here. And it looks like he has like a 
like a ring going around him? Like, are they supposed to look like planets? I don't know. Kind of a weird, kind of a weird uh, extra here, I guess. But you got to fill it, fill up this box somehow. So <laughs> uh, let me know if anyone wants uh, the extra print. I'll, I'll definitely give one of these away. So let's move on. And now we have our bottle opener. This is pretty cool. This <laughs> this will probably keep. Let's see. Let's open them up. Got to remember every third. Every third loot crate I got had that damn Predator bottle opener. Did you guys get that one a lot too? Because I certainly did. I got like, I swear I have three of those things lying around my house. Uh, but this is an Alpha 5 bottle opener. It is extremely hefty and solid. It is pure metal. Uh, it's actually got uh, some etching on it and uh, really nice coloring. It, I mean, I don't think you're going to break this thing opening a beer or a, or a soda, I guess, if, <laughs> if you're the person. I like how they give this and a pint glass to um, uh, this and a pint glass in the same box that comes with this. <laughs> kind of sending me mixed messages here, guys. But uh, yeah, so uh, actually pretty decent bottle opener here. Nice and hefty, uh, go in my collection. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but um, the way I pay my bills is I am a bartender, so uh, maybe I'll take this to work with me today <laughs> to get it, put it put it to good use. Uh, and then speaking of, here is our pint glass. Uh, it has this actually nice little box. Uh, it has a nice picture of uh, Jason on here. Uh, whole team over here. And uh, that's about it. So let's open them up. Oh, wow. It's got foam and everything. All right, here is your pint glass has his decal on it that says bro do you even morph wow <laughs> amazing amazing this might be going to work with me today too maybe i'll uh, i'll christen it with a, a nice uh, japanese beer <laughs> i work on a japanese uh, um, whiskey bar so uh yeah that will that will be a very thematically uh uh appropriate last but not least we have the Green Ranger figure. Please be the figure arts version that I missed out on. And please justify the, the cost of this box. <laughs> it's already, let's see, licensed by Hasbro. Ooh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think it might be. Mm, I can't tell. It looks very similar. But I don't think it is. But let's take a look because it doesn't look too bad from what I can see. I do not think it is not the SH, uh, the SH Figure Arts version. Now, I know that the, the SH Figure Arts version is not a, a, an actual figure. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, they had they had one that was like, it, it, it came out as like $60. It was much smaller, it was a smaller scale, but the details real nice. The folds in his clothes, the sculpt on them were great. Um, so hopefully this one is very similar in quality but this is kind of cool that's not bad let's see comes with a stand built by culture fly i don't know if i believe you but and he comes with he even comes with a dagger that is removable from his hand which i don't believe the, the figure arts version was and let's see, it should should just slide, should slide in probably this way. That'll probably be easier. Mm -hmm. I think you gotta kinda get that handle stuck under his fingers there. There we go. And he sticks on. Do you even fit properly? Ooh, gotta kinda force it. But there you go. That is not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all that's a pretty cool little statue i mean they would charge 40 bucks for this alone so hey uh yeah i i mean it is not the figure arts version but it is not much worse uh it actually it the pose is a little less dynamic um but and the sculpt on the helmet is a little different the paint is a little different but this isn't bad this is a cool little statue. I especially like it with the base. It really kind of makes it look a um, little less, like it doesn't make it look cheap. You know what I mean? 
So cool. Yeah. Th I was kind of hoping for a nice little surprise like this. I, I was very afraid it was going to be, uh, oh, what are those figures called? Those um, Hero Worlds uh, that um, Funko does where they do, you can get like a box that has like five, has like, like they did one that had all the Rangers in it. They've done one with uh, uh, like Scooby-Doo and they've done Star Wars. I think they've done Star Wars anyways. But anyways, um yeah, so uh, I was really afraid that it was going to be like this big, you know. So uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's a cool little, cool little statue. Um, that 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 actually will look pretty cool. Um, got probably uh, make this a new desk toy or something. So there you go, guys. We are. Hey, I was right. It's thirty minutes. Thirty minutes in. But yeah, again, got a cool little, uh, cool little haul of stuff today cool stuff to look at um some of it is a little eh you know like i don't really need snap bracelets <laughs> i think i'll live without them um the lunch bag is is okay um i i wouldn't mind giving it away if somebody really does want one um I don't really have a use for it right now. My kids don't really, I mean, my daughter goes to school, but she has a lunchbox. My son's too little for it. Um, and even if, eh, I don't know, we'll see. Let me know if you guys see anything you guys want. Um, maybe I'll do it like a semi, I'll do a little giveaway or something. Um, I uh, definitely, uh, how about the, uh, the, we'll definitely give away, let's do the notepad and um, the art print. And what else? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the snap bracelets. So yeah, I'll, I'll maybe I'll, I'll 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 put some information in the in the comments or something. But yeah, cool little cool little haul today. Uh, got some new dust toys, which are always fun. And uh, yeah, Whew. can't forget this. Probably my favorite thing in that whole box. So yeah, uh, guys, we are getting very close to 100 100 subscribers. Our first 100. I'm very excited about it. I'm very grateful for it. Uh, you guys have all been just super amazing and awesome and. Um, I love all the support and I, I thank every one of you for it. Um, we already gave away our copy of Endgame. I still want to give away that copy of um, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. So once we w once we hit 100 subscribers, make sure that you're not set to private so I can get your name off of my subscriber list and I can do the random uh, the randomizer again.